Today we're at Topaz Mountain, and you guessed it right, we're mining topaz right up here on this mountainside. This is rhyolite. It's a volcanic ash. So we're going to find a spot here, and we're going to start pounding away with our hammer and chisel. So these are non-imperial sherry topaz, which basically means that they fade in the sun. So when we find something, we're definitely going to cover it up, and make sure they don't fade. But our goal is to work into this host rock where they haven't been exposed to the sun. This rubble right here is a lot of faded topaz, so they look clear. But hopefully when we break into this rock, we'll find some with that nice golden color. Check this out. Ooh, guys, I just hit a little bug. Check this out. So just working just for a second, and I found a little spot with a vug. There's a broken sherry topaz. Here's the point. Look at that, you guys. Right off the bat. Beautiful. So you want to cover these up. Hopefully when we start digging this uh, little vug out, we'll find some more. Good start. Eighth of an inch. So you want something pretty small, but not too small to get all that fine stuff out. And as you're digging, what you'll do is you'll take all of your excess, all your loose stuff right here, and sift it and get all the sherries and all the topazes that you missed. And as you can see, it is loaded with little topazes. And again, you wanna make sure you sift this. Let's go ahead and sift this material and see what we found. already seeing some topaz let's set that right over here oh there's one what's neat if you bring a sifter you guys not only will you find the sherry color but you'll also find the clear ones that people missed now they're clear because the, the ultraviolet rays from the sun actually fades these. So as soon as you find them, you want to cover them. Ooh, there's a really good one. That's what you're talking about right there. That's what you want. Unfortunately, they use blasts to break up the rock here. So you get a lot of fractured crystals. But every once in a while, you'll find them really nice and whole. So there's a little bitty cluster. Nice little sherry cluster. Oh. There's a nice little cluster, check that out. All right, guys, so I've been hammering away and I opened up a couple more little vugs, so let's check it out. So we've got a little one here and got another one up in the wall here. So we're gonna work this out a little bit. Unfortunately, this pocket is mostly covered in sand. So that's a topaz crystal just covered in this white sand here. All right, guys, so I just found the best one of the day. Check this out. So I was literally just hammering away, busted all this rock loose. And look at that. Beautiful. 
beautiful sherry topaz. Hopefully there'll be some more in here that size. I'll let y'all know. So we've got one right here hanging on the wall and it's loose. Beautiful sherry topaz. A lot of sand inclusion in this particular spot, but still a beautiful specimen. We're actually gonna go surface hunt because that's probably your best bet to find those awesome topaz crystals, but most of them are gonna be clear instead of that sherry yellow or gold. So as you're walking around here, the ground just glistens with some awesome topaz. So literally all over this ground are topazes people have missed. And all you have to do is let your eyes catch that glisten. And you can find some crazy nice topaz. Most of these are going to be clear. Now, if you were to take the sifter, oh, here's a good one right there. And there's one. If you were to take the sifter and just sift through all this, you could probably find those sherry topazes that got missed and covered up and shaded from the sun. What's this? Look at that. Oh, that's a piece of a broken bottle. Shame, shame. And then don't forget, you can also search this rock here and get lucky with a vug or something. Ooh, look at that. That one right there has been laying here behind this tree and people have walked by it. Beautiful topaz crystal. And this one's actually double terminated. So that's super cool. There's another one right here. And right here, that one still has a little hint of color left. Super cool, you guys. So definitely worth coming out here and checking it out. It's a ton of work to actually hammer in this wall here, you guys, but that is where you're gonna get the color. So if you come out here, you definitely wanna take some breaks and just walk around and find some awesome topaz crystals. Even when they're clear, they are stunning, stunning specimens. So 